Good luck out there. I'm gonna go explore Blim while you're out there bounty hunting. Hey, be careful out there. Humans are a valuable commodity. Someone might try to snatch you up. I can take care of myself, Jane. Over here, Sheriff. You're not gonna believe this. What is it? I almost thought you were gonna leave me out to dry. Anyway, be careful out there. You can do this. Thanks for having my back. But Jean, ugh. You're lucky we're family. You better watch your step, kid. I didn't give you all this swag for free. Well. Ah, 15 minutes on this planet and she's already out there dating an alien. Oh, sweet Jesus, it's a massacre. Is that his head? It ain't no watermelon. I think that's his nose. Looks like he's been bleeding too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet he don't even bait his own fish here. <laughs> hey, Sheriff, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, you really ought to come hunt. Are you fucking kidding me? We had to get here when there's a goddamn sandstorm going on? Bunch of fucking sand in my eyes? No, you're, you got a helmet on. No, I don't, I don't. dangerous out here with this fucking weather. You never know what kind of shit's gonna fly into your face. Wait, what's that sign? Sandworms. Oh shit, that's right. Okay, yeah, we, we, we gotta be really careful. Oh shit, Greebles. L look at them go. They eat up broken ship parts. Does it taste good? I no idea. I'm not I'm not about to give it a taste test. Are you sure you can navigate through this? I I, I can't even tell which direction we're going anymore. to shoot. distance you know that was the first settlement out here pre g3 we gotta pass through there to get to douglas yeah the g3 don't officially run things out here but well unofficially yeah they they they, they run things out here and with an iron fist Walk, I'll talk, and shoot. Yeah, a wreck like this is pretty normal on Port Torino. You know, this asteroid's always been a lawless land, but now that the G3 set up shop, it's even worse. Best one this week. No, I, I think we should do Taco Bell for tonight. Whoa, whoa, careful! Hey, hold on. 
You know, maybe we can use that to our advantage. without saying but the you know that green stuff is toxic and will dan it will hurt you so don't go in into it all right a big desert adventure you know it's a bounty hunter's way you know how, how you liking it Seriously, I'm getting sick of the desert. Can we just move on to the next bit, you know, please?
I can see Old Town. Just, about just across this bridge. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Support me. Whoa, 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 Wait, tough whoa, guy. Whoa. Hey, 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 look, walk wherever you want. This is a fucking Mac and Cheese Brothers construction site. We ain't done here. Hey, but you gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, hey, calm down. What the hell? How do you want to handle this? Maybe we just, you know, move past Are you them. kidding me? You think you could just walk up into a Mac and Cheese Brothers construction site like you're some sort of fucking Jesus Christ and just fucking walk around like you own the place? There's a goddamn bottomless pit over here, asshole. You think you could survive that? Falling through a fucking bottomless pit down to the bottom? I don't think so. We got work to do. Okay, dipshit? Get the fuck out of here, asshole. You know? Hey, fuck you. You piece of shit. You walk in here. You're pissing me off. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you just killed my bro. fucking brother, Joey Mac and Cheese. Tough. Hey, don't don't fucking shove us. Well, great. You killed all the weird construction guys. You know, we're free to move along now like we were before we killed them. N nice work. Oh, yeah, here's the loot. All right, Old Town, we just move through this place and we'll, we'll get to Douglas. Hey, you with the snappers looking to get into Old Town? Hey, we should talk to this guy. Howdy there, partner. Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? So, uh, well, you know, tell us. What, what, what is this place? Well, I just told you it's called Old Town. Back when settlers first landed on this asteroid, we formed a little trading post free from galactic law where anyone could come and do as they please. Nowadays, Strange Town steals all the thunder, but for a few years there, Old Town was nothing to sneeze at. All right, so Old Town is the Old Town, and Dreg Town is the, the, the new one? Old Town has heart. Used to serve a real purpose for the people. 
Drag Town is just a pit of debauchery and drugs. The Concern G3 Cartel. So, uh, why do they call you Old Wet Grundy? It's cause I'm old. And I piss myself every day. I'm doing it right now. You're, you're pissing yourself while you're talking to us? Oh, yeah. Big time. It's still going. Ooh, this is a good one. Hey, do you happen to know where we can find a, 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 a guy named Douglas? Douglas? The, 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 the G3 fella? <laughs> oh, we. He's a rough one. Never seen somebody drink as much as him. Why, just last night, uh, nope, I, I shouldn't speak out of turn. The G3 don't like that none, and I don't like them. Just head down to Drag Town. I'm sure you'll find them. And how do we get to Drag Town? It's, it's, it's been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop into Old Town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Drag Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Oh, well, thanks, Grundy. That's old way, Grundy. And of course, opening the gate's my whole job. It's why I'm here. I'm happy to do it for some charm and young women snapping love. Have a good time and then you That party last night was crazy. Did you see? <laughs> Oof, more drunk recruits. Okay, I think I think that might be all of them. What, what, what do you think? All right, either way, let's let's just he head to Drag Town.
weird, mysterious feeling that there's probably some more G3 causing trouble, you know, somewhere around town. We, we should, we should maybe de deal with it. Damn, you called me up just when I was in the middle of a fight. <laughs> How's it going? pushy or anything, but maybe try my glove shot every now and again, you know? I think I sprained something.
none too many visitors here in Old Town. You sure you ain't looking for Drake Town? Uh, my name's Kento. You probably have heard of me. I go to all the town hall meetings and complain about all the G3 recruits coming up to Old Town and causing a ruckus every day. I'm pretty famous. Oh, 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 oh. I can't talk right now. I'm drafting my next town hall speech about how annoying the G3 are. And it's it's really good. I use a lot. Uh, okay. We're done? Uh, you're done. Okay. My next speech. You know, th thanks to us, you know, quite a team we are. Anyways, uh, l l l l let's, uh, let's poke our way into Dregtown now. Let's go to Dregtown. Thank you so much for saving me. Oh, my God. Thank you. Uh, but you know what? I kind of, I'm kind of thinking I would have fucked him. So now I, I don't know. I'm going to go think about that. See you later.
Mercs only. No bounty hunters allowed. This Luglox's is guts. Power slide. Wow, did you stop all the troublemaking recruits in Old Town before I even asked you to? That was gonna be a whole quest thing. I was gonna ask you to do that before I let you in the gate. But but hey, you're a go-getter. Uh, you just kill that asking. I, I love that. Head on in. Uh, thanks. Oh, you wanna talk to me? You got some questions for me? I mean, do, do you like sitting here guarding this gate? Seems kind of boring. Oh, I hate it. Worst job I've ever had. All the new G3 recruits come busting in and out all day and all hours running around, shooting the place up and causing trouble. I'm always really freaked out I'm gonna get shot and die, but <laughs> hey, it's a living. How do you like, you know, li living in Dregtown? Oh, of course. There's always a ton of cool shit to do. Uh, gambling, shows, dodging straight bullets. This month they got Zubles doing a big show on the main stage. I'm gonna go see him and ask him to marry my daughter. You only get one shot, you know. So, uh, you know, I'm just just making small talk here, I guess. But w what do you what wh what do you do for fun? Oh, plenty. I usually go down into Drag Town and get fucked up. I love doing Fergals, but I've been hearing great shit about those new humans. Uh, yeah, I've been saving up to try some out. Oh, 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 and I've been binging Space Version Fraser. Can, can you tell us a little bit about Dregtown? Oh, it's your classic den of sin and villainy stationed on the underside of an asteroid. You know the drill. The, the G3 kind of runs things unofficially. They're just everywhere down there. They, they got a whole training facility and everything. So, you know, classic shit, like I said. down to drag town it's way cooler than old town I, old town's a boring dust bucket i'll tell you that much i hate old town i just stand around here telling people how much old town sucks that's what i do that's my that's my cool that's what i that gets my rocks off Hey, have, have fun in Dregtown. Be careful, a uh, lot of G3 guys down there, and they're a bit trigger happy. Did you feel that chemistry? The G3 there? really spruced up Dregtown. You can get anything you want down there. Drugs? Sure. Sex? Yep. Those are the only two things I could think of. Oh wait, laptops. You can get laptops, I bet. Drugs, sex, and laptops? That's Dregtown, baby. Are you going to join the G3? You look tough. I bet they'd love to have someone like you. Ignore that second bit for this ad. This was just about the training. Well, goddamn, that, there, there's Douglas right there. Uh, that's how you know we're in the right spot. Okay, Douglas, 
once again. This ad is about the torture. Uh, the last one was about joining the G3, but this one is about how I love torturing. It's not an ad for anything. It's just like a reminder that part of my job is also torturing people. Enemies of the G3, random strangers who looked at me funny, anybody. I'll torture whoever. Doesn't matter to me. I just love doing it. Okay, that's it for this one. That's a wrap. So no violence allowed here. Take care. Mothers against violence. Oof. Well, that, that falls in our favor, huh? We don't, we're not gonna have to worry about any trouble in this area. I got a system here. I sell stuff. You buy it. Look, I'm a murderer. I'm very open about that. Just keep that in mind while you're shopping here. Now we're talking. All right, all right, come on, get a move on. Oh, yeah. we don't really care. Wow, so this is what a G3-run city looks like. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited to join the G3, but I'm gonna miss my wife and six kids. Oh, yeah, I had mine killed before I left, so I wouldn't feel bad. Wow, that's so smart. I'll do that, too. I'm gonna kill my wife and kids so I don't miss them. I was saying, my brother told me Douglas is really into torture. Like, sexually? Does it matter? Yes, to me it needs to be sexual. Why are you telling me this? I barely know you. Oh, my bad. Yeah, just sort of spilled out. Well, now you know. I hate the G3 like everyone else, sure, but hey, if the G3 wasn't here, who the hell would be buying my sounding rods? Sounding rods? Yeah, it's a little metal rod you stick up your urethra, if you got one. It's the family business. We sell little metal sticks you shove up dick holes. You think you're better than me? Well, you are. You 100% are better than me. I'm dirt. And the G3 wants to buy all my sounding rods, so fuck off. Uh, okay, uh, all right then. Oh, I hope we don't have to meet Douglas. Jeez, that guy scares the shit out of me. Are you at the party? Honestly, Gary's already... Were you guys at the party last night? about? Well, all us moms here in Dragtown got together at the last Mama Palooza and decided it would be fun to have a... Six feet, please. ...where we don't all kill each you other You were all at the party the last night, right? Douglas, we don't damn, can you believe they built all this on the bottom of an asteroid? I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a good place to hide out, I mean, but yeah. Power sliding! Whoa, look at that, look at that, they got, they, they're, they're fucking dealing with some creep. Okay, shit, I, I guess let's just kill them all. I have a brain, I have a brain. Holy shit, brutal!
Three training facility. Maybe Douglas does the training in person. Okay, Douglas again. This ad is about the torture. Okay, listen. Uh, the last one was about torture. But this one is about how I love torturing. It's not an ad for anything. It's just like a reminder that part of my job is also torturing people. Enemies of the G3, random strangers who looked at me funny. Anybody. I'll torture you. I just love doing it. Okay, that's it for this one. That's a wrap. Hey there, freaks and geeks. Check it out. It's the G3 cartel. We're hiring. We're, we're recruiting. Can't tell you where we're located. We can't put that on TV. That's going to be a problem for us. We're going to make you tough. Hey, hey, you can trust me. He's fine. I'm trustworthy, I promise. Nice moves! Please don't touch. I'll explode. Please touch me again. I need it. Careful, I'm contagious. Recruits only, no yellow goop armor, no entry. Beat it. God damn it, okay, we're gonna need to find some way to get in. If you get gooped, I can let you in. You need that protection. The training exercises can be a little dangerous. me again. I need it.
Hey, hey you, check this out. I got some goop here. You're gonna love it. You can use it to sneak in. Come over here. How old are you? Psst. Hey, hey you, check this out. I got some goop here. You're gonna love it. You can use it to... Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So you, you, you want some goop, right? Uh, you know what? Yes! How about how about a big fat yes? Let's go. Perfect. Head down the alley there and just uh let the magic happen, I guess. Uh don't don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies about it. I'm the goop guy. I do goop stuff. Oof! Oh my god! Oh gee! Oh my god! Not not what I was thinking it would be. Oh! Oh! This fucking! Oh my god! The smell! Oh my god! I'm gonna fucking throw up! Okay, okay. Hey, look at you! You're all gooped up. I gotta be honest. It won't last long. It's not the real stuff. So you better be quick. Get in. Get out. Don't stay in there too long. Don't lollygag, cause this stuff's gonna fall off. That's the goop guy, promise. That's the guarantee. You're 18, right, by the way? Oh, looky here. We got another gooped up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible for any life-threatening injuries you may incur on these premises. But even if we were, we wouldn't give a shit. Who cares? I hope you get shot. Are you fucking kidding me? They have some whole thing prepared? Shut the fuck up, it's starting! Welcome, welcome, welcome! I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training? Torture? What's the difference, I say? I look to your left, difference. now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate work-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is that... Right, you saw that, off. right? I got that torture was a galleon. To do. Douglas has a galleon. We, we, we gotta rescue her. Jesus, these fucking Merkeloids. Oh, fuck, here we go. Oh, god, I, here we shit, go. I hope it's not too difficult. Them, right? Oh, okay. You beat all the weak guys. Easy. Really easy. Now go do the obstacle course. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? It looks like some simple platforming. You know, like what you'd see in, like, Lucky's Tale. On, uh, you know, or, um, you know, that one, uh, that really? You got hurt? That, 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 looked, that looked like it should have been easy. You know, uh, listen, uh, you're not gonna impress me if you if you if you get through this, cause it's pretty simple. <laughs> Fuck! Girl. Okay, let's just get this over with, please. 
Oh, fuck it. Get that fucking jump. God damn. That was a little, that, that we, we made it. That was a little tough, though. Ads. So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out, to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. Uh, okay, there's no way we're waiting a full hour. Seriously, for fuck's sake, don't make us wait a whole hour. Bounty Hunter, please, for fuck's sake, I'm begging you, just find another way out of here. Okay, thank God. Okay, let, let's ditch this whole recruiting bullshit thing. There goes that bootleg goop. Uh, I guess that didn't last for very long. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here. My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family, and I'm trying to sneak in and save them. But I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Hey, whoa, whoa, l l listen, little guy. We're trying to find Douglas, too. You know, maybe we can help each other. God, I'm so worried I'm gonna... Gonna throw up. You really helped me. Oh, gee, I'm I'm so grateful. Follow me. You gotta connect these pipes for me so I can get through and save my family. Hey, don't worry. This is a classic textbook puzzle situation. I think me and my bounty hunter partner can figure this one out. Don't even worry. Oh, how wondrous. I'm forever in your debt. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Wow, you did it. You got the door. Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Oh, come on. You're too you're too kind. It, it was easy. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dregtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh. Well, all right then. I I, I hope the guy gets his family back. Here we come! That was the hardest part behind us! This is basically done! We finished this shit! We are fully spent! Oh, fuck! <sighs> okay, w w what is this? Congratulations to all of you worms who made it this far in your training! It's now time for the final test! A bloody free-for-all! Last one standing gets to join the G3! No rules, just kill it! Good luck, shit heels! Good job. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know. Fight some more guys. Found him. Hey! Hi.
Congratulations, graduates on joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. Sorry, I oversold it. The deal. It's a deal. Well, not a good. Good deal. <laughs> for you. Power 
sliding. Glad to see you. I'm so happy we keep running into each other. Oh, look who it's our old buddy. It's your old friend, Dr. Jupy. What are you talking about? How, wh how's it going? Uh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. And a little bit about my wife, but mostly my kids. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife, Plimmy, calling for me. We're gonna solve this one too. Thank you. Swoopy and Froopy would really like you too. Oh, they're good kids. I can't wait to introduce them to you and tell them about everything you did for me. They need good, strong role models. This isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there. Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. This is an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's for and against violent zone. That means there's probably just going to be a lot of violence. An intruder has infiltrated the G3 recruitment program, and there will be lots of violence here until we find and kill them. And remember... Huh, I guess they're talking about us. Remember, I'm still here. All right! You know what? That looks like Douglas's office, but we can't get in that way. Maybe we can go around back. No problem. Not gonna let me take a break, huh?
for running out of paint after I already covered the wall in fucking sticko. What? We're not making fun of you. What the fuck is sticko? It's a cool graffiti trick, dumbass. You cover the wall in invisible sticko during the day, then at night you come back to do graffiti and the paint only sticks to the sticko. Okay, so what? You ran out of paint? Listen, you're talking to the right guy. I, I, I can help. Good graffiti. Ah, uh, now we're talking! <laughs> okay, fuck yeah, that looks pretty sick. Heh, <laughs> don't spend it all in one place, oldie. What are you, like, 50 years old? That's young to me, I'm 90. My species gets really rebellious right before we die. Oh, look, if it isn't the 50-year-old artist with amazing graffiti skills. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. Prepare to be Time to respect the postmaster. You know, I, I, I guess I don't. I don't know. It's I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah. Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. Here we go. Oh, you're so good at these. I wish I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? to think about my wife's body being ripped in half by one of Douglas's torture devices. And it's not working, to be honest! I've decided that if my family is dead, I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't talk me out of it! This is what love does to a person! Feel bad if it takes you a while. It's tough, right? Yes! 
You're halfway there! Keep going, you can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy! You're a good team! <laughs> you go for it, idiots! Thank God! <laughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> I was never Dr. Joopy! There is no Dr. Joopy! Are you shocked, you idiot? You complete fucking moron! Oh, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> and to think you never once suspected your helpless little friend, Dr. Joopy, was actually hiding his true identity. Ha! It's not even people like you that get killed by smart geniuses like me! You know what? Uh, who gives a shit? This is perfect! My trained recruits, who are also my victims. There never was any Flimmy or Jeffy or whatever those made-up stupid little people call. In fact, those aren't even real names. Nobody would have those names. When did you ever run into somebody named Flimmy? the stuff. Oh, now that felt good. He had some very nice choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh, ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian, smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. 
Gargantuous! It's Garmantuous! Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night! Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately! Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas! Get excited! And get your fucking shit together! Okay, yeah, fuck that! You wanna fuck these guys up? My crystals stick into baddies and they'll explode if you hit them real hard. Like with your knife. You get it. Go nuts. What? Do you hate my time bubble or something? Use you it. Made a pretty good game. Stab his ass. Let me have some fun. Oh, done already? I was just getting into it. smaller crystals, so just blast some normal shots and finish them off with my super crystal. You got that, dipshit? thrill you know you can use that time bubble on the g3 too and try loading the bubble up with my crystal then you'll see why i'm the best gatling <sighs> we're gonna make a good team i can feel it just listen to everything i say and never use the other gatlians What's next? You turned in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up. Hey, kid. Another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. All right, good. Get over here. Intensive care. That's room 203 down the hall. Okay, thank you. Come on. Nice Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizen. That's Clug Nugman. 
Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. That's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Come on. You know how hard it is to get a meeting with the Magistrate? Don't keep him waiting. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out. Oh, sure. Keep dilly-dallying. I'm sure the Magistrate will be thrilled. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Please, take a look at this tool! What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit, like we're gonna stop now. Then... Thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Oh, uh, feel free to stay as long as you'd like.
You can visit the human haven yourself, by the way. We don't know exactly what makes humans comfortable, but I hope you like how we've set things up. So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Oh my god. What did he do to you? What did he do to you? I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna faint. All right, don't do this now. Just go sit down. I'm serious. No more bounties until you get a jetpack from Mr. Keep. Michael's guardian. So this is what it's like to have legs. and call you an asshole, but I need you to come over here right now and buy my illegal shit! Illegal shit? This guy is talking my language. Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? For real, alien cum? What's wrong with you? I it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum, and we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. So, you really got a lot of people looking to buy alien cum, huh? I consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you bored or nay? I'm not mad, I'm just curious. Do we really look like your typical customers? Sure, look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me, but they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographic. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So what what's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? Look, I can't believe we're doing this, but let's have some cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off of free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say, Dan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Blim City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Ah, looking for more alien cum, are you? Well, I'm sorry. 
I'm fresh out of Alien Come right now. We sell out early sometimes. I gotta go restock my supply, and that's not so easy, trust me. But give me a little bit and I'll have plenty more. I promise, I just, I just need some recovery time. How's it been going so far? Yo, Mr. Geep, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. Look how dumb they look trying to figure out what to buy. Job. Now, I know I hate to be pushy, but can you get your grubby hands off that phone and do some inventory before the end of the day? That is interested. Oh, well, you know, I told your mom I'd make sure you took Hungry? Hungry for some, uh, deals? Am I right? Shoot guns at bad guys. I'm Jeffrey Gunshooter. I'm Jerry. Also Gunshooter. You! Over there! Come over here! I've got some food for ya! Yeah, that's right! Food! I said food! Hey! Welcome to Blordo's! I'm Blordo! You here for the food? Or the other stuff. <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Wow, you're hungry. You're hungry. I don't know what <laughs> two brothers and no brother in law. We we love shooting guns. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. Could you turn your microphone, please? So, uh, what kind of stuff did you do in... Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep.
All right, partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Come on, we paid for the jetpack, and you're not even gonna try it? Holy shit, this rules! Art of life. Nice! Oh, stop having sex. We're not gonna stop being horny. That's all, that's my... Oh, check out that landing, goddamn! I'm allowed! That's fine. So don't elect Clug Nugman, he's just trying to make me stop having sex. It's Whoops! Uh, maybe let's try that again. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You could fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Don't you were done with me! The best Gatlian is back, baby! Put it aside! We reign over all! Let's just chill on killing for a sec, yeah? I'm not killing them! Hold me steady if you want to run so fast.
remember you're condoning it. Finally! What? Did I piss you off or something? I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Wait, you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. While well, you're off having fun, doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. We're all living under the same roof, and that makes us family. And it makes her business my business. I'm the man of the house, so she needs to do what I say. And before anyone accuses me of being a misogynist, yeah, I know I'm a misogynist. We all know I'm a misogynist. That's bad, and I'm working on it. But this is about me being right and your sister being wrong. Listen to yourself. I can make my own decisions. I don't know why you think you're suddenly some father figure to me just because you're crashing on my couch and eating my diary. Oh yeah, I said eating. He's been eating pages out of my diary. So what? My species eats paper. It's delicious. Who gives a shit? I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Twig. Come on, tell Gene I can date whoever I want. Thank you. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary found it.